Today, I want to take you shopping over at Mulberry. Come on, let's go check it out. Welcome to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'm going to be checking out Mulberry. Uh, this is on my quest to look at other luxury alternatives besides the Chanel and Louis Vuitton and Hermes and I decided to go check out Mulberry. Mulberry is a British uh, lifestyle brand that has a lot of iconic bags like the Baywater and Alexa and Amberly and I just want to go check it out and see for myself. Um, as always, if you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing for more videos. It'll really help a lot. Well, on with the shopping, or at least browsing, I would say. Here is the small Darlie satchel, currently at $915 Canadian. I actually have never checked out this bag before. I see that the green leather looks really beautiful, and it has this like iconic mulberry logo in the front with the turn clasp, and I think it's pretty classy but not anything that really stood out to me but here is a bay water which is known for and I'll come back to that later there's quite a few number of bags here and styles that I'm excited to check out at the store today this one is looks really handy um, looks like an easy go-to bag to kind of put in some of your essential and head out for shopping if you need to is the Amberly clutch uh, currently priced at $1,055 Canadian it has this really interesting turn class closure which I'm debating about do I love or just find it kind of intriguing as it's the first time that I experienced it. It does take a little bit of fiddling around with the clothes but definitely something different. So this is the Amory Clutch in different color that you'll, you can see here. Here is the mini bay water. As you know, I am in love with these mini bags, more so the big bags nowadays. Here it is on the model itself, currently priced at $1,275 Canadian. There's also this green one with beautiful pop of color. I just think they are so, so adorable. And it has this lock that is included on the side with this leather covered for it, but so, so, so cute. There you can see that there are card slots included to it and I think it's heard really great things about the craftsmanship of this brand so I'm really excited to check it out and they have some really classic beautiful designs. What do you think of these colors in the bag so far? So here is the mini bay water. You can see it comes in like many different types of tan leather. I'm going to come back to that one as well, it looks really cute. But this one here, the small Amberly satchel has been catching my eye, again with the interesting lock closure, but I love my crossbody and hand-free bag, so just kind of naturally gravitated towards it. This one comes in many cute colors, there's no back pocket on the back unfortunately, but I think it's like an interesting different design than you normally see in other brands. So there's another one you can see with the different colors. They have so many colors for the satchel. Uh, priced at $1,275 or just depending on the type of grain, like there's corn flour, or other types of grain leather, you'll find different pricing. Here is what they call this little softy. I've never seen this bag before, so I was really gravitated towards it. It was so soft and buttery, the leather. I think there's like a trend for pillow bags for a period of time, especially with like um, YSL and such. But like this one is so soft, I can see myself using it as a clutch. And this one, the tobacco brown <laughs> pillow effect Napa leather is so pretty as well. Look at that beautiful buttery feeling leather and it, it just looks so cute I can see under your arm as a clutch but here is the chain that it comes with so unique as well uh, different from like other chains I've seen with bags other bags I mean uh, but like here is how they attach chain on it is detachable so you can make it into a clutch and just tuck it under your arm but so cute and has the classic mulberry um, little tree logo on the top right on top of the turn class and i think that's so classy i am a little bit worried about how scratch 
easily a scratch it can be for this part of the hardware let me know if you have this bag and how your experience it is with it here is the big softy it's two thousand four hundred dollars so like between the small and the big is not a big price difference but i would say the small one is just so darling and whereas the big one i just feel like it's a little bit much for me so what do you think isn't it so cute uh, even the handles are really like soft and plushy as well So next I'm gonna head over and check out another iconic bag which is the mini sip bay water The bay water bag selection is such an iconic collection specifically for mulberry And this one has a zipper on the top which I find super convenient And this is the one with the heavy gray mulberry in pink and it does come in other colors you can see the turn lock here I think it's more for aesthetics as part of the consistency for the mulberry bay water design they always have this class in the front so it's, I don't think functionally does very much but here is the one in the black of the gold hardware also super classy I think there was another one here in the brown or sand color also really pretty as well with the zip closure for added security I think for myself I think probably throw a lot of stuff in and out and I might not actually zip it every time but you can see there's a place to attach um, your chain onto it and also has a top handle op um, option as well uh, just feeling the leather is just so luxurious and beautiful I can tell why people talk about how mulberry has really good craftsmanship and like the quality of the leather is just amazing on to checking out some other bags they have looking at this crossbody here is the Anthony it's currently priced at $1,150 and has this turn class and just one compartment which I love I don't like having bags of multiple compartments inside and it's just super roomy and then the closure here I this is the white color I think white goes very well with a lot of um, dresses in summer the unfortunate thing is I'm worried about color transfer which is why I'm looking at the oak legacy color instead here is the Alexia with like the braided top handle I do find this bag really heavy though just so you know even before anything is put in the bag you can see after you do the turn class metal closure there's a magnetic closure two of them actually attached to the bag so it's very secure but I must say it's a bit heavy for me given that like I already feel my bags are a bit on the heavy side and I do a lot of walking on a daily basis so Alexa's probably not on the top of my wish list but it's an oh so beautiful classic um, if only it was a little bit lighter it would definitely um, be one that I'll be considering here's the Alexa in the chestnut heavy grain so beautiful last but not least there's a couple here that I haven't brought up because it's not on the top of my wish list these are the Sadi satchel for $1,950 Canadian I just don't love how um, decorated I would say the buckle is so it's just not my style and there's also the Baywater tote which is $1,425 Canadian again I find that this tote is a little bit on the heavier side so it was something that I wasn't really planning to look at but they do have some really beautiful colors um, for the screen one with the magenta on the inside but yeah these are some of the ones that are new this season with the bay water tote and you can see with many different colors available here is another satchel on the bottom with the decorated logo for the buckle not for the hardware at least um, and you can see that the strap is adjustable and it has a thick leather uh, shoulder strap on the top to make it a little bit more comfortable for you when you're wearing the bag for long periods of time and has a larger side as well and that's a small sadie satchel for $1,775 I'm not really sure what these rings on the sides for if it's like for charms or what are you what else you could be hooking onto it um, 
I just find that it's a little bit much for me to have so much hardware on the side in case it um, clings to clothing or like gets caught in something as you kind of go in and out. So it was something that I thought was interesting that they added to it. So I hope you enjoy my shopping and browsing experience at Mulberry. And what do you think about this luxury alternative brand? Is this on the top of your list? I would love to know. Uh, and as always, if you like the content in this channel, please consider like, subscribe and sharing. I would love to have you join my shopping experience and learning more about luxury bags. I'll see you next time in the next mommy review. Take care and stay safe.